Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I think it's time to build something Swedish. So how about this kit? So it's finally time to start building this kit. Uh, and that is something that I've been looking forward to for a long time. So, uh, and uh, the, um, the individual that I have chosen is this one, the one in the splinter camo. And that is aircraft uh, 37378. Uh, and uh, it was delivered from Saab to um, F4 Frösön in 1984. And uh, later in its uh, service, it uh, uh, was moved to Vidsel, uh, that is a missile test range in the up in the north of Sweden. And uh, it's actually still preserved in uh, in that uh, location. So, um, yeah, w one more thing. Apart from the information that are available on on internet, uh, I have these two books. Uh, this is a quite an old one uh, with some uh, a lot of uh, black and white photos, not so many uh, color photos, unfortunately. But uh, there are some information about the aircraft and the history of uh, Swedish Air Force, and so far, I should say, and. Uh, I also got this book, which is a book that I can really recommend. Uh, it has a lot of really nice pictures of, uh, of uh, Viggen aircrafts and it goes through all the versions and where they were located and when they were put in service and uh, every type of information about that, about the background and the development process and everything. So this is a really great book. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't um, have so much uh, reference photos or uh, th there is no walk around in this book, unfortunately. So you have to look up that on, on the internet. But anyway, it's a great book from uh, Nordic Air Power and I really recommend it if you are interested in learning more about the Saab 37. Uh, vegan. So this is the aftermarket that, uh, that I have uh, uh, rejected, so to speak. Uh, first of all, uh, the Boy 401 uh, Chef and Flair dispensers, they were uh, added to the Viggen uh, quite late in the, in its, during its uh, service time or ser service lifetime. And I will build a quite early Viggen, so I will not use this. If we look at the uh, resin ejection seat, we can see that it's much, much bigger than the, the kit part. And I think the kit part is more true to the scale, so, uh, so I will go with that. And if we look at the footage, uh, it's the same story. Uh, the photo etch is uh, very much bigger than the, the kit part. As you can see here, it's almost, if you compare those two parts, it's almost twice the size. So uh, I won't use that because of that reason. And also the, if we can find a way to show this. Um, the side panels on the cockpit tub is, uh, is also too big, so I, I won't use them. However, there are a couple of really nice details on the exterior uh, PE uh, fret and um, that I might use in, in the build uh, if, the, if I can get it to work with, uh, with the rest of the kit without uh, too much uh, surgery and, uh, and grief. So what is left in the kit is the masking set for the camo uh, and the masking set for the canopy and wheels and also the metal, uh, turned metal um, 
Pitot tube and uh, angle of attack uh, uh, sensor or probe. So I will use this in, in my build. Okay, so uh, let's get started. As you can see, uh, the fit is really good actually. I was expecting worse, to be honest. Um, I think that most of the seams can go together quite well uh, with some Tamiya Extra Thin and some pressure. Uh, the wing roots look really nice actually. And uh, the, the part here. Uh, the middle section here with the um, with the ring uh, that is actually an extension that was made for for the fighter version the GA GA um, uh, 37 um, because it has it had a bigger or longer uh, engine so uh, they had to uh, lengthen the fuselage a little bit i think it was something like 13 centimeters and uh, actually this part i was a bit worried about that um, but i think it will go together nicely um, there are a couple of areas for example for example, this seam line here it can be a little—it's a little bit soft in the edge. So uh, I expect, uh, even if I put the parts together with a lot of pressure, I expect to see a seam there. I think. So I might have to uh, to do something about that when I uh, when I uh, after I have glued everything together. So okay, so uh, first impression, I think it looks uh, nice, um, better than I, I thought, uh, and I think that I have actually, I haven't built the 148 scale version yet, so I, I, I'm not uh, an authority on on uh, on that kit, but um, I think the, what I've seen and heard from people, I think this is an improvement compared to the 148. So, uh, and I, of course, they, um, <clears throat> they should have learned, if there are any, were any issues with the 148, then they should have uh, picked that up, I think, and uh, corrected that for the, for this uh, 172 scale version. So, okay, so let's um, continue with the build. <laughs> Oh, 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 
the progress so far in this build is that I have completed step one to step eight, basically. And uh, if we look at the, the parts, um, I have um, assembled or, or mounted the uh, copy tub in the upper fuselage. And um, I have also uh, made drill some holes for pylons, and I have also made a cutout for the the rat or the ram air turbine, which should be fitted back here. Uh, I have glued the um, uh, air intakes together, and they look actually quite good um, the problem is that uh, this is not uh, the part that that will cause so much uh, issues um, this is when I fit the, the fronts or, or the air scoops um, I will probably have some, have some issues uh, with those so, uh, but, but this part is, uh, was actually quite easy. And uh, yeah, here is the, the rat, by the way. It should be fitted something like this. So, uh, yeah. But I will paint that first before I, I put it into the fuselage. So, uh, I <coughs> hope you guys are still with me. Uh, it's been a long uh, episode with this build start and uh, uh, you deserve a med medal if you have uh, stayed with me as long as this. And uh, I will uh, continue with the build and there will soon be another update on this channel. So uh, happy modeling, take care and I see you in the next one. Goodbye.